Construction at the site of South Dakota's first state veterans cemetery in Northeast Sioux Falls is making a lot of progress. Since the groundbreaking last September, machines have moved a lot of dirt. The location looks a lot different now as crews should have it ready to open sometime next spring. In tonight's Eye on Kettle Land, Matt Holson gives you a fresh look at the important space for local veterans and their families. What once was a farmer's field is now transforming into sacred ground for local veterans. Fast forward to today and you can see behind me that we've got buildings going up and a lot of dirt's been moved and it just looks like a completely different site. Aaron Pollard with the South Dakota Department of Veterans Affairs has been a part of the project since the beginning. A veteran himself, he knows what it will mean for the community when it's complete. It's pretty heartwarming and I, every time I come out here it's a little bit further along and I can conceptualize a little better what it's going to look like once it's complete. And just every time I'm out here, it kind of takes my breath away and I realize what this is morphing into and what it's going to mean for, you know, the veterans of South Dakota and the veterans across the country that want to be buried here. Several local crews are taking part in the special project from Stockwell engineers to Journey Construction. Landscape architect David Locke says for being in Sioux Falls, the site provides plenty of hills and trees. There's, there's a lot of topography to the site, a lot of grade change, and so uh, when it's all said and done, when you come into the site, you'll be looking up to the uh, committal service shelter that you can kind of see the roof, and so it'll be pretty uh, breathtaking coming in uh, and being able to have that view shed uh, looking up to the committal service shelter and the service flags that'll be on top of the hill. Both of Locke's grandfathers served in the military. He says it's very meaningful to him to help create what will be a state shrine to veterans. It was something that we as a family, it was important to us. Uh, our family vacations consisted of uh, going to different battlefields and stuff like that on the East Coast. It's something that I'm very proud to be a part of uh, and I can't wait to, to see it finished. Journey Construction is currently working on the storm sewer infrastructure, utilities, roads, and more. So this is the admin building. It will host the conference room director, uh, locker rooms. It's a rare cemetery project for Chad Munz. The superintendent's father served in the Air Force. Very unique. Um, you don't see many cemeteries, you know, get built these days, uh, especially a VA cemetery. So uh, it's near and dear to my heart. Uh, told my dad I was coming out here to work and very interested in it right away. Rain has delayed construction here and there, and you can see there are plenty of puddles right now. Still, the State Veterans Cemetery should open next spring. More than 100 families have pre-registered for spots. The 60 acres out here feature space for 28,000 grave sites, according to the master plan. It offers a, a final resting place closer to home for those who who would normally want to choose a, you know, a national cemetery option or you know, a veteran cemetery. Sitting just to the northeast of where Interstates 229 and 90 meet, Pollard says the peaceful setting is a perfect location. It feels like this is where this cemetery belongs and this property was put here for this cemetery and for, for anybody who has been out here and I think walked around on the grounds, even when there's construction equipment making noise behind me, it still feels like this is where the South Dakota Veteran Cemetery should be. So I just, I feel it every time I'm out here and it, it hasn't changed. It's only grown stronger as we've, as we progress. With Eye on Kettle Land, I'm Matt Holson. If you'd like information on how to pre-register or would like to make a donation to the cemetery's endowment fund, just go to this story on kettleland.com.